I'm, I'm the youngest of five kids, and uh, I had to share a room with my older brother growing up, which really sucked. I remember one night when I was like really little, like race car bed age, I, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, damn, I gotta pee, but like, I don't wanna go downstairs. I was, I was like fat and had a bowl cut, you know? So I looked over and I saw my brother sleeping and I was like, all right, fine, I'll do the responsible thing. I'll, I'll do the responsible thing and I'll just, I'll just pee in this corner right here. I'll just pee in the corner and he'll never know. And, and, then, I, and then my brother woke up and uh, you know, he started screaming and then uh, my mom started running in and my mom was like, what, what is it, what's going on? And I like didn't know like how to like stop the stream yet, so we just like didn't break eye contact as I just like peed on the floor for ten seconds. And uh, I think that's when my brother started to like torture me as a kid, like not like bad things, just like blame stuff on me or like you know wrap me up in a carpet burrito and throw me down the stairs, like normal brother things. And uh, my brother always got me physically, but my three sisters always got me like mentally. Like we had this rule growing up where if I was playing outside one of my siblings had to be watching me at all times to make sure I don't get kidnapped. It's a good rule. And uh, one time they came outside when I was like drawing chalk or some shit, like whatever 2006 kids did. And they came outside and they were like, Andrew, come on, you gotta go inside right now. And I was like, what, why? And they were like, because Andrew, the anchovies are coming. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know what that word meant, but I was like, that sounds fake. And, and, I, and like, I didn't believe them until I heard Mr. Softy's ice cream truck, like down the street, like the ringtone, and then they got all serious and they were like, they're here. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, so I ran inside and I was like deathly afraid of a fish and Mr. Softy my entire life. Like I would see my friends down the street getting ice cream and I'd just be like, see you on the other side, Timmy. It was good knowing you.